Hey Taurus, welcome to your September monthly reading. And I'm pulling one card from the Halloween Oracle and then pulling a couple from the Tarot to see what the energy is like for September. So first you've got Night Song with this beautiful cardinal. Now it says hidden talent. So Taurus, you might be getting confident enough or getting the push to share one of your hidden talents with the world, whether that is on social media, whether that is on a website, whether you are starting to maybe sell a product or service because it's the skill that you've always had and you're deciding to, you know, to promote it that way. Um, but you're doing something where you've, you know, maybe kind of been reluctant in the past and now you've just gotten the intuition push that it's just like, do it. This is, you know, people need to hear and see and, and, and um, your talents, right? So don't hold back because the world needs to see what you can do. Okay, Taurus, and the other thing too I wanna mention is cardinals are um, typically signs that your angels are watching over you. So that could be someone who has transitioned, um, you know, to, you know, to the spirit world, absolutely. It could be your archangels, your spirit guides. So if you're seeing cardinals by chance of maybe where you live, that could be a sign, but that's such a beautiful card to have. All right, let's pull a couple cards from the tarot. Taurus, for many of you, I feel like you, and I apologize for the lighting, it's like high contrast. <laughs> the Six of Swords in reverse. This feels like you're still a little bit in turbulent waters. Maybe it's because you are looking to get away from the traditional nine to five or corporate setting and, sorry, that was my dog. Um, and you really want to showcase a talent, but you weren't really sure. You're not really sure if it's going to be able, it's going to be able to create enough money to keep you sustainable and, you know, exceed or your current or match your current income right now. Um, but everyone has to start somewhere, right? So you might be in this kind of holding pattern and, and kind of in some turbulent waters where you really just don't know what to do. You don't know maybe how to manifest or get this thing or get this thing off the ground. The magician in the reverse is is maybe you're lacking some confidence. Maybe you feel like, well, I need all these things. I need investors. I need you know money to start something. And yes, some depending on what you're your what you want to do. Sure, it can cost money. Absolutely, but a lot of times it costs time, right? So. Um, there's plenty of ways to launch a business and you don't have to have every little thing in front of you. Now, again, this is going to depend on maybe what industry you're in or what you're wanting to launch, but the magician is all about someone who can actually create something out of nothing. They are creative. They can rub two pennies together and make 15 bucks. Like they just have the ability to get something moving. So don't lose sight of that, Taurus. You have that within yourself. Don't get hung up on that not everything is perfect or the timing isn't perfect, the stars haven't aligned. There's never going to be the perfect time. You just have to sometimes jump forward and figure it out as you go. Um, Again, I think you're a little bit concerned about failure, like anyone would, anyone that's trying to launch something off the ground. The three of cups in the reverse is really, it's it's just the fear of rejection and not being able to actually get something going and not being successful and not being able to have a celebration or, you know, being always stressed and, you know, not maybe in a good place. So here's the thing, Taurus, you, you're one of the hardest working signs in the Zodiac deck and you have a very good knack for money. You're smart, you have a good business acumen. So don't freak out, okay? Don't lose confidence in yourself. You can do this. Tauruses tend to move a little bit slower, but that doesn't mean that you're not gonna get to your goal. It's fine. Keep moving forward, keep pushing forward, and you'll learn as you go. Here's why I'm saying this. With the Queen of Swords, now this is channeling a little bit of some earth earth energy. So you might have earth in your chart, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or this is something that you're just taking on. But this is a time to make very clear on what you want. The Queen of Swords is, sometimes she's known as the Ice Queen. She can be very cutting, but the Queen of Swords is someone who is very, very wise. She has been through a lot in her life, and she can smell 
you know, BS a mile away. She can also see red flags. So this is what I'm saying to us. Don't freak out that you're not going to be able to do this. Have confidence because if you're channeling this energy, you're going to have enough wits and talent to actually get this thing off the ground. So with the Queen of Swords, she's smart, sophisticated, very savvy. She has a very, very strong intuition. So just know that if you have that going for you, you're going to be fine. Also, you got the star card. Sorry, the lighting is just flipping awful right now. The star card represents, um, is actually Aquarius represents the star card in the tarot deck. This is about wish fulfillment. It's about the stars aligning. This is about divine timing. This is a sign from the universe to say, go, start, yes. This big star here. You're on the right path. So go with your gut. Go with your intuition. This is something that you're being divinely guided and protected. So again, you have a lot of protection in what you're doing. Just believe in yourself and you got this. Taurus. Wish you the best of luck. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Please like, comment if you feel guided to. And then you're welcome to follow my other channels on Instagram and TikTok. Same handle, Alchemist Tarot. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.